So are you considering 3D printing as an option to mass produce your product? Here in this video, we're gonna go through what the process looks like as far as how Slant 3D onboards new clients and what the steps within that process are. So the first step in the process is obviously the quote. We first of all need a 3D model from you in order to actually evaluate it. That model, if you require an NDA, you can go ahead and send that across straight to us and we will have one of our team members execute it and get it back to you after our team has reviewed it. Once that's received, we will need a standard 3D model format in order to evaluate the part. We cannot work off of 2D drawings, we need actual volumetric information, so it has to be a 3D model. When that 3D model comes across, you will send across also the quantities that you're looking for, what your expected timeline is going to be, and any other kind of settings or specifications for that part and what you want your product to be. What color does it need to be? Does it need to withstand sunlight? What's its functional purpose? As much information as possible because that allows our team to make suggestions and decisions around what kind of materials would work best for you. So all the information has been sent across. What our team will do is we will assign an account manager to your project. And this person will be an engineer who is familiar with how to make your type of product. They'll evaluate it and they'll run it through our quoting system, as well as give options around ways of optimizing that part. This could include both the design of the piece, what kind of engineering decisions can be made to make it more optimal for 3D printing so that you can get to more scale if necessary, as well as ways of maybe adjusting your supply chain or your business plan so that you can take better advantage of 3D printing. That timeline takes about one to three days from when a request for quote is received. What will happen is that account manager will then reach out to you in order to schedule a call and go over the design as well as provide you that quote. At this stage, any sort of feedback is really appreciated because it allows that account manager to see what other needs you may have had that didn't come up in the initial RFQ so that they can make any sort of adjustments that might be necessary in order to make printing more competitive or to better meet whatever your needs may be from an engineering context. So do provide that feedback if there are any concerns that you have right off the bat about how the process goes. If you approve the quote, what you will then do is you will go into a sampling stage where the account manager will work with you and they will either help you modify the design or print out your design as is in order to demonstrate what kind of a final result would look like. These production prototypes are as close as we can get to a final production part. They are generally a little bit more expensive when you're starting out because our team takes the time to evaluate the piece and do a few iterations and make any sort of tweaks and any sort of observations that can help the part into mass production. We don't simply slice the part and throw it on a printer. Our team actually tries to engineer it and prepare the slicer settings and the print settings so that they're as robust as possible. So that when you do pull a trigger for mass production, we can go from sample to mass production as quickly as possible. That verification is to get to a final result as well as allow us to start to build the process about how that part will be produced. If you approve that sample and you wanna go on to more production, you wanna go into 10,000 units, then we will negotiate that contract with you and put together what that fulfillment looks like, what the timeline looks like, that kind of stuff. But as soon as it gets started, the first thing we will do is probably produce somewhere between 100 and a couple of hundred parts and pieces. Those ones are meant to be kind of a QC lot, where we make sure that our evaluation process is working well and identify any sort of errors or problems that can come up in mass production that our team needs to be looking for. Maybe there's a potential deviation that occurs or maybe there's a stain on a particular type of part that isn't immediately obvious until the client who knows their part and product the best can actually give us that feedback. So we do a very small chunk of the production run to verify that those parts are up to spec. And then based on that feedback, we will update the QC and quality control process on our side and update any sort of training that we need to to make sure that the parts that you receive are the parts you want and the parts that you need because if parts are not up to spec, we will replace them at our own expense. It is our responsibility to produce a good quality product for the client. So that first little kind of mini production run is to verify the parts. Once that's done and once those parts are coming through at a 99% or better performance rate and we know how to tweak and fix the QC and are confident about the process around that, it's possible we might do a couple of small iterations of sampling after that, of like after the 100, if there were a lot of errors, we might pull back and do some tests to verify that the parts are coming out and to address any sort of issues. But assuming that has all passed through, which can take a week or two or even a couple of weeks, it might, in some cases, it can take months because building up that process so that we are mass producing reliable components is very important because we have to have a process in 
place to establish, to establish what is a good part, what is a bad part, because that is a tolerance. And many clients don't always have a clear definition of what the tolerance is. It's not always dimensional. It's sort of by eye, like this looks good, this looks not good, and that kind of a thing, because there are variations inside of the 3D printing process. We need to establish what that tolerance is for the client. The expectations for a bracket underneath the dashboard are very different from a consumer facing product that a person is going to hold and use on a regular basis. There are different specifications about what is allowable for those parts and a different tolerance and set of QC procedures. Anyway, we've gone through the entire process. We have delivered several hundred pieces that are reliable and consistent. Now we can move into mass production. At this stage, it's pretty easy. You just say how many you want over what timeline and we start producing them. There is possibly a slight delay at this stage where we have to order in enough material if we're doing a large bulk batch. If you're doing deliveries over time, like monthly deliveries, then there's less of a wait because there's less material. It's very possible we might have it stored in inventory. But at that scale up point, we can go as quickly as you want to. There may be, there is a ramp period because if you're doing very large volume to where you might require a large amount of our capacity, we have to slowly rotate you in as other clients finish up. So capacity is reserved for you as it comes available and you can increase the rate of production over time if that's possible. So the timeline and the actual delivery rate varies based on the time of the year and based on kind of your place in line. So make sure that you're starting a project very early to allow for this process to take place. You're gonna have the quoting procedure, which is a couple of days. Then you're gonna have sampling, which might be a couple of days to a week. And then you will have the production sample run, which is a couple hundred pieces to verify that the QC process that has been created for your part and all the specifications are nailed down and reliable. And then we can move into mass production if there is no issues at that small kind of test run phase. So hopefully that clears up what the kind of the onboarding process is of going from a quote all the way to mass production. We wanna make sure that the parts being produced are very reliable and usable to the client. If they're not, it's useless to everybody and it's a waste of time and effort on both sides of the partnership. And manufacturing is a very deep and close partnership. So we wanna make sure it's as clear as possible and make sure that we have a reliable and consistent and repeatable and highly quantified process to make sure that every part that you get is a part that is good and useful and set for what you need it to do. Have a great day, everybody.